everyone, this is Naomi. Did y'all know that May 17th is the International Day Against Transphobia, Homophobia, and Biphobia? I may have switched up the order of the phobias, but you know what I'm saying. So on that day, I was reflecting on all the biphobia that I experienced and my bisexuality. And that got me into thinking, you know, like, let's make a video on uh, bisexual stereotypes and how I fit into or not. And I searched it and I found something better. And by better, it's a quiz on BuzzFeed. Yeah, I feel like I'm back in uh, university, like, circa 2013 and 14. I don't like BuzzFeed that much, but you know what? I wanted to learn how much bisexual energy I radiate, so let's try. Ahem. Pick a chair you sit weirdly in. Is this song on stereotypes that bisexuals don't know how to sit or, like, sit in a really weird way? I wanted to argue, but I actually can't. I sit on my sofa in a weird way. Yeah. God damn. Why is BuzzFeed clocking me? Okay, these are some chairs. They're cute. I'm feeling this kind of Victorian thing or this kind of 1920s pink one. I, I'm gonna pick the pink one. Pick a concert to go to. Panic at the Disco, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Drake, Harry Styles, Halsey. For me, it's either Lady Gaga or Panic at the Disco because... I really want to pick Panic at the Disco because I've been liking them since high school because yes, I was that emo goth wannabe girl back in high school in Japan, imagine. But Lady Gaga, uh... But Brenda Yuri, why is this test so hard? I'm mad, fuck. I'm gonna go with Lady Gaga just because she was on Drag Race and she was a good judge. I'm sorry, Brandon. I still love you. Next, pick a hair color. Lavender, platinum blonde, this mermaid thing, dark purple, my hair color, and red-ish pink. I don't think I look good in pastel, so I'm just gonna go with platinum blonde. Pick some jeans to cuff. Is it because bisexuals are constantly showing our ankles? Is this based on all the stereotypes? Fuck stereotypes. But it's so accurate. Okay, um... I like the- I like this one. That's pretty much the one that I wear. Okay, next. Pick a coffee order. I don't drink coffee anymore because it makes me want to go to the bathroom and if you know me personally, I go to the bathroom all the time. Like hourly. Uh, okay. Iced with oat milk, pumpkin spice latte, cappuccino, extra foam, black cold brew, hot and black, mocha frappe. <sighs> I have three choices. Iced with oat milk, black cold brew and hot and black yeah i narrowed it down to 50 percent. i'm so proud of myself the issue is that i'm really picky with coffee i'm really picky with my coffee i'm not a coffee snob but people have been accusing me of being a coffee snob i don't care about where it's from it just has to be good and strong so if it's from like decent place i wouldn't mind any of them but god this is tough is indecisiveness a trait of being a bisexual hmm is this like buzzfeed's way of clocking me trying to expose me jeez okay i'm gonna go with hot and black pick a movie yes mulan magic mike 500 days of summer she's the man the hangover twilight oh god mulan wait it's not the live action one right if it's a live action one then i have to go with she's the man i'm praying that this is the animation version of Mulan and I'm picking that. Pick a celeb crush, Oscar Isaac. They don't have it. I'm offended that my boo is not on the list. Okay, let's see who's on the list. Timothy, Chalamet, Rihanna, Natasha, Leon. I suck at pronouncing people's names, I'm sorry. Jeff Goldblum, Michael B. Jordan, Megan Fox. It's either... Why am I so indecisive? I have three picks. Rihanna, Jeff, Michael B. Jordan. Since I'm wearing Fenty, I have to go with Riri. She's that kind of celebrity that I don't want to meet. Like, if I ever meet her, I will just be like, I can't talk to her. No, no, like, I, I gotta go. Like, I will back out. Real hard. Pick a random hobby. Cocktail making, gardening, macrame, rollerblading, nail art, jewelry making, jewelry making. I kind of do that. 
Okay, finally, pick a city to live in. Vancouver, Tokyo, Barcelona, Melbourne. I can't pronounce it. New York City, San Diego. It's either Barcelona or New York City. New York City, god damn it. Barcelona. My Spanish sucks, so I have to go with New York City because I speak English. Ugh, but I want to live in Barcelona. Okay, let's see the results. Maybe you get a little gay flutter when you see a cutie on the same sex, but your bi powers have not come into effect just yet. Keep trying. But don't forget that this is just a fun quiz and you're amazing no matter how you identify. Oh, that's kind of nice. So yeah, I learned something about myself. I actually do know a few stereotypes about bisexuals and I'm pretty damn indecisive. <laughs> I thought I knew what I want. Okay. So the moral of the story is, I don't even know if I have one, but let's just, let's see what this is gonna lead me to. Ahem. So yes, May 17th is the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia. Yes, it is unfortunate that we still have to say that, yo, we don't tolerate that kind of shit. But it's not just on May 17th that we should fight against those phobias. Today, tomorrow, and the day after, we have to say no to homophobia, transphobia, and biophobia. Okay, let's, let's keep on fighting. So I make dumb videos like this and some serious videos talking about feminism and LGBTQ rights in Japan and I do reviews of movies and blah blah blah. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram at Twitter at Namura Plat. Yes, I did say Instagram at Twitter because I just can't speak anymore. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, everyone, stay safe. Bye, kids.